Hey Sparkies, I would like you to welcome Miss Mary, our Bible time guest. The Bible gives us a lot of information about the days in which Jesus lived. It would be great to talk to some of the people who lived back then, but since we can't really do that today, we have a puppet, pre puppet pretend that she is from Bible times, but her answers will be true. Miss Mary, you sure do look happy. I am, I am. Such a wonderful thing has happened. I can hardly wait to tell you about it. I saw Jesus. He is alive. Jesus is alive. Actually, we already know that. Although we can't see Jesus, the Bible tells us that he is living in heaven and preparing a place for all those who believe in him. Well, you know that now. But back when Jesus lived on earth, we didn't understand that he was what he was here to do. You see, even though Jesus never did anything wrong, mean men put him to death on a cross. They hammered nails into his hands and feet. They pierced his side. Jesus died to take our punishment for all the wrong things we do. No matter how hard we try to be good, we still do wrong. God calls those things sin. We deserve to be punished, but God loves us so much that he made a way for us to escape that punishment. When we believe that Jesus died for us and accept him as our savior, our sins are forgiven. But when Jesus died on the cross, we were so sad. Another believer, Joseph of Arimathea, got permission to take Jesus' body down from the cross. He wrapped Jesus' body in a clean linen cloth, as was the custom. Sweet spices were put on his body. Then Joseph laid Jesus' body in a tomb, which was a cave. When Joseph left, he rolled a huge stone in front of the tomb's door. Later, the guards came and placed a seal over the door and stayed to watch over the tomb. The Pharisees and chief priests were concerned that someone would come and steal Jesus' body. Just like many people today visit the graves of those they love, we went to the tomb and were surprised to see the stone rolled away and an angel. The light was so bright, we were so scared. A real angel? What did he look like? His face was like lightning. His clothes were white as snow and he spoke. He said, do not be afraid. For I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. He has said, come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Found in Matthew 28, 5b through 7. We looked into the tomb it was empty. The linen grave clothes used to cover his body were still there, but not Jesus. The cloth wrapped around Jesus' head was neatly folded where his body once lay. He ran to tell the other disciples, and just like the angel said on our way, we saw Jesus alive. We fell down at his feet and worshiped him. We were, when we told the other disciples the good news, they didn't believe us. Two of them went to the tomb to make sure what we said was true. <laughs> That's exciting. Yes, yes, Jesus is alive. He is more powerful than death. Although there are people who worship the other gods or prophets, like Buddha or Mohammed, those fake gods, prophets are all dead. Jesus Christ, the true God, came back alive from the grave. It wasn't just us who saw Jesus alive after his death. More than 500 others saw him too. <laughs> Easter is a time we celebrate Jesus is coming live again. But none of these things were mentioned in the Bible. These are just pretend. And another name for this special day is Resurrection Day. Resurrection means raised from the dead. That's what we all really do celebrate. Let's see who can answer some, answer some questions from our lesson. Who was raised from the dead?
Jesus. Where is Jesus now? In heaven. Why did Jesus have to die? To take the punishment for our sins. What is sin? You know, don't you? The bad things we think, say, and do. How can we get rid of our sin? Ah, believe that Jesus took the punishment we deserve for our sin. Trust him to be our savior. If your brother or sister does something bad and your mom is going to punish him or her, do you ever say, stop, I'll take the punishment? That's what Jesus did for us when he died on the cross. Why did Jesus die for us? He loves us. <laughs> Just like Miss Mary said, the exciting part is that Jesus did not stay dead. God is so powerful that he raised Jesus from the dead. Because Jesus came alive again, we know that we will be alive again after we die too. Those who believe in Jesus will get to live with him in heaven forever. That's what Jesus meant when he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, shall, he yet shall he live. And that's in John eleven twenty five. Those who have not trusted Jesus will spend forever separated from him in a terrible place called the lake of fire or hell. Have you trusted Jesus to be your savior? Are you celebrating pretend things? Or are you celebrating the truth?